Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. So today I'm sharing with you, as you saw from the title, uh, kind of a quick summer go-to makeup look. For me, this look is something that I could wear around the house um, or you know, to run a quick errand, uh, maybe go to the pool, hang around the pool or something. It's just really quick and summer friendly, heat friendly, especially here, we live in Georgia and the heat and especially the Southern humidity can really get to you. So I feel like these products hold up really well. They've been well tested throughout the summer on my skin and I've really been enjoying them. So stick around, I will show you how I go from this to this. So I'm excited to share with you the products and the process that I go through. Not every day, because I don't wear makeup every day, but for most days throughout the summer, what I gravitate toward, what I use, and how I apply things to my face to look somewhat put together. So I hope that you enjoy, and we're gonna jump right in. I am sitting here in my dining room because unfortunately all my bathrooms do not have ideal lighting, and I feel, feel like the lighting in this room is a lot better, so hopefully it's coming across okay right now on camera. I am with a with clean hands and a clean face. That's very important. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Always wanna clip my hair back out of my face. Okay, so no matter what else I'm putting on my face for the day, I always start off with some moisturizer with an SPF. So I've been using this CeraVe one now for um, a while, several, several months. So you always want to make sure that you have some kind of SPF in your moisturizer, and that's a good first step. Okay, now it, when I remember, I also like to put on um, some kind of chapstick that also has um, some SPF in it. Okay, next up is a primer, and during the summer, I always go for a mattifying primer because you can step outside and just automatically start melting and feel sticky and gross. Um, so I want to try to stay as matte for as long as I can. So um, today I'm going to be using the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer. It's really good. I also really like the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. That one's also very good. And this is just going to help whatever else you put on your face to stay in place for longer. Keep those um, excess oils at bay. It also does really good with um, concealing your pores. Kind of hiding your pores. Next up for me, I like to conceal under my eyes, or uh, I guess correct first under my eyes. So here recently I've been using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Brightener, and that's just gonna help um, correct a little bit under the eyes. And I just normally pat it in with my finger, brighten underneath there a little bit more before you go in with the concealer. Next, I am going in with a concealer. Today, I'm not using a foundation. I do not really care for using foundations a lot during the summer. If I do any other kind of layer of anything on my face, I like to stick with some kind of BB cream. And lately, I really, really enjoy this CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. It gives the coverage of a foundation, but it still feels really light on my skin. But I'm going to skip that step today. Go in straight with my concealer, under my eyes a little bit, just to you know give some more brightness under there. And then kind of the um, high points of my face. And then I just go in with my little Real Techniques um, sponge and blend all that in. Now to set that, I normally like to use a pressed powder. I like the Rimmel Stay Matte pressed powder, but I recently ran out of that, so I grabbed my Cody Airspun powder, and it's a loose powder. I've been using this for like the past few days. We went to a birthday party actually yesterday, and so I used my CoverGirl BB Cream and the Cody Airspun powder, and my makeup stayed in place all day. We were outside all day for hours in the Georgia heat and humidity, but every time I would see myself in the mirror, uh, my makeup looked great, and so I was very impressed with that. So instead of using a brush, I just used the little puff that it comes with, and um, instead of like sweep, like moving it around like this, I just kind of like push, push it into my skin, and I feel like that just really helps to like lock anything in place and keep any of those excess oils at bay. 
Oh, so I need to say, take some of that concealer and make sure you kind of go up over your eyelids to act as your eyelid primer. So before you do powder, take some of that concealer and um, when you're going under your eyes, also make sure you do um, on your eyelid as well. Now totally unnecessary, but if I have some extra time, like an extra few seconds or so, I like to take my Wet n Wild little duo here. It's like a contouring duo in Dulce de Leche. But I take like this lighter, more banana-y shade and um, kind of further help to brighten under my eyes. Again, totally optional, but you see how quick it can go. Like, And then um, sweep that over your eyelids as well. So it's giving some brightness, almost like a light eyeshadow effect without having to break out, you know, your extra eyeshadows, extra products. Um, my favorite part I think of all is bronzer and I like this NYX matte bronzer in medium. Um, I could, you could use this, but to me this is more, I like it for contouring because it's more like a, um, a little bit deeper and cool toned in this. So I like um, the NYX bronzer instead because it's a little bit more warm. So it just really helps to warm up the face. So just quickly go around and do that. Now if you're in a big hurry, you can kind of leave your face just like that and you can just do something to your eyes and be done. But if you have like an extra minute or so, go back into that little duo. I mean, you don't have to sit there and spend hours trying to like contour your face, but I feel like it just gives a little extra and I like the extra dimension that it gives to my face. I'm a big blush fan. Uh, during the summer, I gravitate more towards Corally pink shades. Today I'm using Milani Baked Blush and Luminoso. I also really like MAC Peaches. You don't have to do a whole lot, it just gives a little extra. And I really like the unflushed, um, just pop of color that blush gives to your cheeks. Like along with the bronzer, I feel like it just really uh, makes you look nice and fresh and youthful and healthy. Now, if you really want to get fancy and you again have a couple of extra seconds, um, I do like to use a little bit of highlighter. I like this Mary Luminizer by The Balm. You just kind of lightly sweep it. I just sweep it on my cheekbones a little bit and up a little bit. Down the nose just a little bit. And again, like the higher points of my face where you would normally highlight. And you may think, okay, well you skipped foundation when you're putting on these powders, but I'm just doing a very light touch of these powders. Trust me, it does not feel heavy on my skin. Uh, I think the, the trick with all of this, going quickly, is making sure that you have things within reach and they're somewhat organized in some kind of like container or drawer or something. I have all my brushes in jars right there in my face. I know where all of my products are and it's kind of like on autopilot at this point. I know where everything is. It's, easily accessible. What would really take a lot of time getting ready is to fill my eyebrows. I feel like it's definitely important, but it can take me several minutes to really try to fill them in because I feel like mine are pretty sparse. I would normally anyway after the brow pencil um, go through and set the brow hairs in place with this tinted brow mascara by NYX, but um, a lot of times if I don't want to sit there and fuss with taking forever filling in my eyebrows, I will just take the brow mascara because it is tinted. So with this little brush, you're brushing them into place, using the color to fill in any sparse areas, and it's locking the hairs in place all at the same time. Now for my actual eyes, I don't even go looking into my eyeshadow palettes really because eyeshadow, again, is another thing that can really take me a long time. So I will make sure I keep out my bronzer, and I'll just get a little blending brush and pop a little bit of my bronzer into the crease. And then I do like to take a smaller brush and sweep that under the eye as well. If you really wanted to, you could go back into your highlighter and kind of dab that there too. Or even take it on your finger and just kind of lightly sweep it up here. Put it on your lid if you wanted to. And if you really want to be fancy and you're wearing a tank top like me, you can highlight your collarbones. I mean, I'm just being silly at this point, but you know. But really, I mean, how long did that take? Less than 10 seconds and just give a little bit extra glow <laughs> to your skin. I do really enjoy the look on me for my eye shape to do a little bit of a cat eye if I have the time, but we all know liner takes a while, so I will just take um, 
a pencil eyeliner and tight line a little bit. And I do like to make my eyes look a little bit more open and I guess a little bigger. So I do like to use a nude eyeliner and just put that into my waterline. Okay, and that's really it for eyes except for mascara. So I will just very quickly, some days I don't even curl my eyelashes. I just slap onto mascara. And my favorite all-time mascara is the L'Oreal Voluminous. This one is the Voluminous, but it's in the waterproof. Okay, so that's really it for my face. It only takes a few minutes um, to really do all this. And if I'm not speaking and explaining, it goes super quick. Again, you can just do your moisturizer, primer, um, maybe correct, color correct if you need to, some concealer, set it with a little bit of powder, maybe put a little bit of bronzer on, some mascara, and you can be out the door. Um, so a few of these were a little bit of extra steps that I like to do and I feel like they really don't take too much extra time and again my products are all right there. I know exactly where they are and I can just grab them very easily. I'm just showing you my routine and things that I like to do that make me feel a little bit more put together. I really like this Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray. This is the matte finish. Again just to keep those extra oils and whatnot at bay during the summer. And it's such a light fineness. I mean, it just feels really good going on your skin. So it really just helps um, meld those powders into your skin and just help everything just look like your natural skin. So I think that's uh, that's definitely an essential step is to use some kind of makeup setting spray to kind of lock it all in place. Be like minimal makeup and a bright lip just looks fresh and fun for the summertime. And I love to like use this bright pink. It's Rose Hip by Milani. And you see how like bright and fun that is? It like matches my shirt today. <laughs> anyway guys, this is it. Let me take down my hair and have the full effect. I just blow dried my hair a little earlier. That's all I've done to it is just blow dry it. I have not gone over it with anything else. This to me for the most part is my face all throughout the summer and I feel like it really holds up really well. So anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell icon for post notifications. Take care, and I will see you very soon. Bye.